she was seven. So I had a video request to cover the topic of a documentary that is on YouTube and it's like, I think it's called uh, Women Who Rents Men. Um, and by rents, I mean like, you know, I guess it means use them for gifts. Um, I watched the documentary and um, it was a group of women from the UK and they are, they were like women who, you know, were attractive and they would use guys to buy them gifts and pay for bills and all that kind of stuff, but they would never sleep with them or, you know, take it to the next level. Um, and someone asked me to talk about what I thought about it. Um, <laughs> Women have been doing that for a long time. It's like not anything new. Um, when I was growing up, I, I saw a lot of girls do that. And it's easy to do that because men like beautiful women. They like to be in the company of beautiful women. They will pay for the company of beautiful women. They will treat beautiful women to you know expensive restaurants, shopping, this, this, this and that. And even if they don't get anything in return, you know, just being seen with this person or spending time with this person was, a, you know, good enough for them. Uh, I guess in America, they just call them sugar daddies. Uh, so I know a lot of girls who have had sugar daddies and have not had to do anything with them. Um, and they rinsed them to get expensive gifts and then when that relationship went sour or they were tired of each other or things couldn't go any further because the man wanted more than the woman was willing to give then they would just end it and just find another one um, or they'd have multiple sugar daddies at once or they'd be rinsing multiple men at the same time and now that the internet and you know social network is more um, prevalent women can do that you know super easy now um, they were just showing how these women would take pictures of expensive shoes and purses and, and stuff like that and post them on like Facebook and you know their rich guy friend would you know see what they liked and bought and bought it for them and sent it to them as a gift and blah 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 um, well that's how a lot of women operate especially um, like women who are, you know, pretty enough to marry a millionaire or have um, that type of lifestyle if they were to marry into money. These type of women will, you know, sometimes they've already been married and divorced or are not ready to be married yet. And they will just play the field and play the guys to get the gifts that they want and they don't have to work, they don't have to do anything. Um, and, you know, I can't really say that I'm against it because if men are willing to buy you something and you know give you a gift and it's their choice you know it's free will the woman is not forcing them to do anything it's just like you know this, these are some shoes I like I wish I could get them these are on my wish list and so she basically just friended a bunch of rich you know businessmen and they see her you know Facebook feed and they say oh Maybe if I buy her these shoes, she'll come have dinner with me and, you know, I can be seen out with this beautiful woman. And so they'll just buy her the shoes and say, uh, I need to give you your gift. Meet me at such and such, you know, and the woman will go, okay, and it'll be a nice restaurant. She'll get to eat, drink champagne, enjoy her evening, get her gift and go home, you know. Um, and I know a lot of guys probably expect more out of the woman. But it's really up to the woman to give herself to any man. So it's basically the guys are just working off the hope that they're going to get to go further. Or they're working off the uh, the ego that they're going to be able to convince her to do something, you know, else. So when they get tired of it or when they grow weary and, and you know, give up, that's when the girl just says, well, you know, I just wanted to be friends and... You know, I'm not ready for a relationship and they just move on. They just move on to the next guy. And, you know, guys have kind of been doing that for years, except they haven't really been getting gifts. They've been getting sex. They've been tricking a lot of women and saying, you know, oh, 
I really like you and you know talk the woman and you know into having sex with them and they won't commit they won't they don't want to be their boyfriend they don't want to you know take them out they don't want to date them men have been doing this for years except the gift is just sex from the woman that's why I say if any woman gives away sex for free and they're not in a committed relationship moving towards long-term or marriage then you're just giving away free gifts you're being rinsed by the men except sexually so I would rather be a woman that you know gets gifts from guys rinses guys rather than be the woman who gives away free sex and hope for the best and get the worst okay I don't see anything wrong with it in fact it's easy to rinse men you know even on you know even if they're not the most you know wealthiest guy they still have a paycheck and you can get something out of them um, I've seen girls do it all the time on Facebook they'll just like uh, oh I need a new phone oh I need um, and they'll post up a phone and oh I need uh, I need these new shoes that aren't super expensive or oh I need uh, I need this watch you know they're not gonna put like a expensive watch on there they're just gonna put something like you know in the medium price range just to see if people will actually buy things for them and sometimes they do sometimes they don't sometimes they'll give them a a link to a website where it's cheap at or something like that and you know then that, then that lets her know that they're not trying to buy anything for her but then there's some guys that will offer to you know order it for you and pay for it and have it shipped you just don't know I mean people are different some guys like to give gifts it's like a nice gesture um, some guys are and some girls they have you know lower self-esteem and they feel like they have to buy their friendships or they have to buy their companionship and they don't have a problem with it because it's easy quick fast convenient they don't have to really work hard on it they don't have to settle for uh, someone that they're not really interested in or that they're not attracted to so it's kind of a give and take it's not unfair because the guys are agreeing to it it's just it it seems like it's unfair because the woman is getting more out of it but if you think about it a man's ego is being fed he's getting to be seen out with a beautiful gorgeous woman who he probably could not you know score without his money um, and he's getting conversation he's getting the effect or the illusion of having a, a beautiful girlfriend who he can buy nice gifts for He's getting to know what women really like so that if he does ever want to get married, he can he knows how to impress that type of woman and knows what they like. It could also just be research because there's lots of wealthy men that will have uh, like what they call them sugar babies and, you know, figure out what these young girls like, figure out all that stuff. And then they'll go find the one that they want really want to be with and they'll just pull out all the stops. They'll know exactly what the girl wants. They'll buy the gifts. They'll do this, they'll do that, they'll do blah, 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 blah. And so they don't have to be trained. They already know the girl's going to fall for it. It's just going to be like, yes, he's going to give me everything I want. I don't even have to teach him. He already knows. He knows about this. He knows about that. He knows about this. And it'll just be automatic. I know I've known lots of um, wealthy guys who have done this in the past. They would practice impressing younger women. And then when it was time to find their wife, they knew exactly what to go do. And they had the money to blow. They had the money to spend. They were having a good time. And, you know, nothing was really lost. Now, like before I got married, um, I would date guys that had, like, you know, money. But it was like, you know, for me, at that age, I was trained. I was basically trained by my sister who like got let's just say she had a sugar daddy like every couple of months she had a new one so I was like she taught me and I would say oh you know on the date I would say oh let's go shopping or let's go window shopping and window shopping would turn into real shopping you know oh let's just go walk through the mall you know and then that would turn into oh you want that oh you want that oh you want that and then it would turn into um, you know 
what do you like? What do you want for Christmas? What do you want for your birthday? You know? And so that's just how it, it goes. But like as I've gotten older and I'm married now and have kids and stuff like that, that's not like really my main focus because I've already been there and done that when I was young. Now my main focus is maintaining a, a, a household, a financial security, making sure everyone's healthy, everyone is happy, everyone has what they need, um, you know, being able to still um, buy the nice things that you like and not, you know, just losing yourself into, you know, being a mother and wife, but exploring um, hobbies and books and learning new things and doing this and that. So that's like my focus now. But back then when I was young, oh yeah, it was all about what, what I could get, what I could get. Um, and you know, it's not a bad thing. It just, you know, it's just how it is. There are men that will pay for your stuff. Um, just like there are women that will pay for men's stuff. I mean, it works both ways. I, I've seen, uh, guys, uh, especially very, very attractive men. They will go for a woman who looks like, you know, they could never get a guy that looks like him and they would make sure she had a good career and they would say oh baby i love those shoes oh baby i love that watch i need that watch oh baby i love this hat and the women would just buy it for them and say and the men will be like you know the men would sleep with them so the women were getting what they wanted <laughs> and you know sometimes they would just pay for the guy's gift and just feel like that was their girlfriend duty but really you know they weren't exclusively together they just thought that you know we feed into each other's fantasies women feed into a man's fantasy and a man will feed into a woman's fantasy which is you know the romance the, the material things the comfort the trips and men will feed into women's as far as you know affection love uh, intimacy, um, you know, kind words, and we know what each other likes. So it's easy to get what you want out of somebody if you tell them what they want to hear, right? So I guess the moral of this, of this video is um, there's nothing wrong with, you know, having a sugar daddy or rinsing men if they agree to it. And, you know, and there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, guys doing the same thing because they're young and they're just exploring. And, you know, if you fall for the okie doke, then, you know, you learned your lesson. If you didn't, then, you know, you're doomed to repeat. But I don't think it's wrong. I just think it's a part of life. I think it's a part of growing and maturing as an adult and seeing what type of men and what type of women are out there. Um, you know, it's, it's just a learning process. I don't see, you know... I don't think it's wrong because so many people do it and like like when I first started dating my husband I did it to him <laughs> uh, like our, our second date I took him to the Galleria and he bought me you know we went shopping um, for my birthday which was like three months after we met he bought me a Louis Vuitton um, took me on trips he took me to Mexico we went to Las Vegas and like you never know what could happen, you know, so we got married, but that, you know, I was doing the same thing and, you know, he knew what women liked and he knew how to impress a, a certain type of women. And even though I've grown and matured, you know, spiritually and mentally, and I'm not all about those things anymore, I was at the time and he knew how to impress me at the time. And just because a woman is a certain way, at one point in her life doesn't mean she can't grow and mature and become a better person or a different person with different priorities in the future. So you'll have to remember that, you know, um, just like a man. Um, but the thing is, like I said, some women just love comfort and that's what they want in life. And, you know, men understand that. And if they don't, they don't know how to impress a woman. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this video at that. Um, and I'll see you guys later.